welcome back to Kids Corner. It's Shirley and Sir Winston, and we're going to do another craft about making an animal from a toilet paper roll. Last time, if you remember, we made an elephant and I had a blue painted roll left over. And I've been thinking, what animal do I know that's blue that we could use this roll? And this morning I thought, ah, oh, I remember, a peacock is rather blue. And so today we're going to make a peacock. Now what you'll need is toilet paper roll, crayons or paint or markers, some paper, pencil, scissors, and glue, maybe a razor. So we're going to start, and I have already painted my toilet paper roll blue. You may want to color it with markers or crayons. Then once it's dry, what sticks out about a peacock? Well, it's his tail. So let's start with the tail. And a tail for a peacock is fastened at his back and then it kind of spreads out like fingers. So what we're going to do is ah, a design sort of like this that's going to go on the back. It's the fan of the peacock. So I've kind of drawn out a pattern already and what we're going to do is we'll trace it out. Now you can do a pattern out if you like or if you're brave you could just draw out one and cut it. What I tried to do is to make it so that it went out about the same on both sides. And then we're going to cut it out. Now, the fan of a peacock's tail has what looks like almost little eyes on it. And so what we're going to do with this is to start by making the eyes. But one thing to make this a little easier to know where the eyes are going to go is to get a sense how much is going to be covered up by the toilet paper roll. So we're going to put this down roughly in the middle and we're just going to make a light mark where the toilet paper roll will go. And actually what I'm going to do is to show you a big version of the eyes before we start so you have an idea of what they're like. So we're going to start with some blue in the middle and we make a circle of blue. And then it has almost like an upside down heart. And what happens is the point of the heart points towards the edge of the tail. So we draw our heart around the blue. And then the next thing we do is it's like that heart is in a circle. And so we put it in a circle and it's blue again. And if you have a different blue to use, that would make it even more colorful. And then it's green around it. And we could describe this as sort of either a rounded triangle with more of the point end going the same way as the point on the heart, or a guitar pick has a similar shape, or a yield sign. And then it's ringed around in a bronze color, which for us is I'm using the orange marker.
So if you can see, this is like the eyes that we're going to draw. And so the peacock's fan has many eyes. And so the way that I like to start it is that we're going to put the blue centers for each of the eyes. And we need to think of them as fanning out from the back of the peacock. So we see the little marks that we made that we know uh, what's going to be covered because we really don't want to put any of our eyes there. And remember to give them some near the bottom. And so we're just going to make these radiating out like fans. Now remember that you'll want to spread them out enough so that you'll have enough space to make the eyes around them. Now I've kind of made mine in lines that'll go out like lines of a feather. And then what you'll do is after you color each eye, you can look at your fan and see if you want to add additional eyes, if there might be any blank spaces. Now to do this takes quite a bit of time. So Sir Winston and I did one ahead and you can see what we did. And the other uh, area around that is in the eyes, I colored with sort of a bronze color or a brown for the feathers to kind of fill in the rest. So we can glue this on to our peacock now. And I'll put some glue right down the middle. Take this and we'll press down. And our peacock has the start of his feathers. Now, one other thing that a peacock has is he's got a little thing right up here. And it looks like kind of a series of little blue circles so we can kind of make a bit of a row of little blue circles and they're held on by lines out so then we can take our scissors and we'll cut out around this is a little bit more challenging because we've got the little circles. So what we might have to do is once we get it colored out, if we've left some white space around the circles, is to just take our crayons or our markers and just touch up around the edges so the white doesn't stick out as much. And you can see that I've left a little bit of white along the bottom and I'm going to use that to put some glue on. Fasten that sort of at the middle of the front. Press it down. Now our peacock is going to need a beak after all he's going to need to eat. So we're going to draw a triangle with our orange and we'll cut that out. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard the sound a peacock makes but I've spent some time living in a place that's had peacock. And it's really not a very nice sound. It's more like, ah, ah. used to say people that love their neighbors didn't own peacocks. So we'll take our glue, put it on the back and 
stick it down below our little antenna things here. And now what our peacock needs is two eyes. We can take pencil and draw two circles. Cut them out. Or we can fold, draw one circle, fold it over, and then when we cut, circles for our eyes are about the same shape. And just like last time, I'm going to fold mine over so you can't see the pencil marks. And then I'm going to take a black marker and color in the center because it fills in the eyes a lot more. And we'll glue those on. Here, then the other one. There. And there we go. We have our peacock. Did you know that peacocks were mentioned in the Bible? At the time of King Solomon, they talked about him having a fleet of ships that every three years they would come back and they would have gold and silver and ivory, apes and peacocks. So the peacocks had been around for a long, long time and they were considered very valuable. Shall we have a little prayer together if you could repeat after me? Loving God. Thank you for the beauty of a peacock. Thank you for the people who look after me and others. Help me when I'm feeling sad. Help me take care of others. in your world. Amen. And we'll see you next time at Kids Corner.